Hey guys, Greasy Bear here, and today I'm excited to show you a new tool created by Anthony Agaris and Chip Waters called Spock. And today I'm going to show you a quick example on how this is used. So let's get started. So I'm going to start with a box right here. I'm going to tab into the box. I'm going to delete the top vertices here. And I'm going to select this vertice and I'm going to bevel it out so it kind of like looks like a control panel. Select all. I'm going to show my uh, face orientation. I'm going to flip my normals. And I'm going back to turn my face orientation off. I'm going to add a modifier of solidify, uh, a point. 1, 5, and I'm going to set it to even thickness, and I think we're ready for Spock. Yes, now this looks like a kind of like a panel I can use in a corridor or something. So I'm selecting the panel. This is the Spock interface, and we're going to download, or I'm sorry, we're going to open the D-Pack assets, and if you have Sci-Fi Pro or Flex, you'll already have these D-Packs. However, for this demonstration, we're going to use the Spock Sci-Fi and once the D-Pack asset is loaded, you're going to actually load it to the scene. And once you do that, it'll show up over here. It'll have an SP on it, and it'll show all the collections that are used um, that are going to build this sci-fi panel here. So I have the panel selected. I'm going to make a new collection set. I'm going to add some pipes. Um, I'm going to add another one, and I'm going to add a panel under for some background. And I'm going to these are the collection styles and we'll get more into this later on in the documentation and more videos however I'm going to set it to fill I'm going to set this one to fill um, I'm actually going to unlock the size min and make the size max to two I'm going to do it on this one as well I'm going to rotate these to be in any direction they want to be because it's just going to be in the background and I'm going to set the density to two I'm going to click pack Okay, so this is what it looks like right now, and it's got a lot of detail. It looks good to me. I'm going to let it go for this purpose. Um, you can actually repack it and keep packing it, and it'll randomize it, but this is cool right now. This looks good for me. So what I'm going to do here is the next thing I'm going to do is you're going to save this as a pack save one, and you're going to toggle these and turn them off. And then you have a pack save one right here. You can toggle on and off. You can actually delete it and start over if you want. Your pack save will be up here. Save that as a pack save one. Now, as long as the eyes are turned off over here, we, they will not be added. So we're going to add a new one and we're going to add dots. And this one's going to be instances. And uh, yeah, we'll set this one to instances and we're going to put, uh, let's say, 10% margin in between here. And I'm going to scale them to two. Then I'm going to click pack. And there we go. And as you can see, they're not really stepping out. You can't really see them. So if I go over to the Z axis and I hit 0 .0, 0 0.1 and hit pack, it'll come out. But then they're out a little bit too much. So I'm going to go 0 0.01 and hit pack. And there you go. And then there are the dots. Show some lights in there, which is cool. Um, now I can go down to the material here and I can go to the random dots right here and I can take the, let's see, the strength from 30, make it to 50 and just give me a little brighter of the lights. Then I'm gonna go back to the rubber to where it initially was and the lights are a little brighter sticking out some which I think is cool so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and save that one and then I'm going to toggle it and turn the eyeball off and then I have two pack saves here and <clears throat> now I'm going to select the face on just the top and I'm going to add a new collection set this one's going to be Excel panels. I'm going to also make these instances. And I'm going to, let's see, um, let's make this a factor of five. 
and I'll scale these to about, let's say, 0.9. And I'll hit pack. Select pack, there we go. And you can see the panels are in there and it looks pretty cool. And it's working. And as I turn all the other packs off, you can see the panels on the top layer and that's just that. And it's looking good. I can change this to say short sort it and repack and it just, just repacks it randomly. So it's looking good to me. So I'll turn my packs on. I'm going to save this pack and then I'm going to turn off the, the eye and toggle it up. Okay, next I'm going to select the top. I'm going to make a new one. I'm going to drop displays on this one. And let's see. I'm going to make another one. And I'm going to make this one switches. So I'm going to make instances. Or actually, I'm going to make this one. Yeah, we'll keep this instances. And we'll make this instances. Okay, we're going to make this factor set to 5. Um, I'm going to make this margin one, uh, down here on the switches, we are going to set the factor to five and, uh, we'll set the margin to 10% on this one. And I'm going to click, well, we'll scale this to 0 0.9 and there are the displays and the switches. Um, something's not, okay. They're not. They're not rotated properly. So I'm going to set the rotation to 270 on that one, 270 on that one, and I'll hit pack again. And there we go. Now they're looking right. And look at all the detail on those and the switches. And that's a lot of detail. That's starting to look like a really nice, you know, um, sci fi panel right there. It's looking really sharp. So moving on, we're going to save that pack. And then we're going to toggle down and turn those eyes off. And I'm going to select the middle here. And actually, I want the, the two eyes back on because I'm probably going to use the displays and the switches for the middle. And I hit pack. And then what I want to do is just random and hit pack again. And you'll see is as I'm clicking pack, it's changing it. Now, I like that one a lot. That looks really cool. So now I'm just going to turn, or I'm going to save these and I'm going to turn these back off so they don't show up in the next collection. So now I'm going to select the bottom and I'm going to possibly add a floor to this. So over here, I'm going to hit new. I'm going to select floor and the floor. So I found out to be the best settings to be one factor 0 0.05 on the Z and a scale at 1.20. So this is what I came up with. So the beauty of this is once you actually play, put the item down, you can select it as an object and you can actually move it and you can actually scale it and, you know, do what you need to do. That looks pretty good. I can probably just scale it a little bit. Put it over here um, just a little scale move it back and that should do it right there and there you have it that is a basic sci-fi panel that you would put in a console or a corridor and um, yeah it looks pretty good so we'll check it out let's look at it rendered see what we can come up with turn my render on um, let me go over here and add a light yeah. put the brighten up that light a little bit make that light nice and bright just the floor here a little bit and that's it and let's render this puppy. And there you have it. That's the rendered version. So that looks pretty good. So 
once again, let's close the render and just take a look at this. And a uh, lot of detail, a lot of stuff going on. So, hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope this walkthrough helps you if you can watch the video and make your own. It's pretty cool. There's a lot more stuff you can do to this. This is just an example. And look at all this detail. And it's very easy as you see me do it. It's very simple. Stick around for more videos and see what's coming up next. And thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Stay tuned.